Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory from 1971. Wasn't that originally called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I seem to remember calling it Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's one of those movies you watch a bunch as a kid and then watch it again as an adult and you're like, oh, that was actually really fucked up and awesome. And Charlie's teeth are just, oh. And then as far as the Wonka remake with Johnny Depp, uh, no thanks. It's too fucking weird. Like, it's too Burton. Burton went too Tim Burton on it. And it's too much Burton for me. Come on. Let's boogie. So, a young Willy Wonka has arrived to a new city to follow his dream. To make chocolate for people. He starts from the bottom and just rises up like one of his fizzy lifting drinks. You know, it felt stupid writing that, and it felt way worse saying it. As Wonka and his chocolates are becoming more and more popular, there are other people in the chocolate industry that are trying to bring him down. You don't want to fuck with big chocolate. Timothy Chalamet is Willy Wonka. Listen, this dude does not miss. I've seen him play drug addicts, hopeless romantics, kings, aristocrats, a futuristic messiah, and so on and so on, and the dude delivers every fucking time. I will say, as good as his performance was, he's not the best singer, but to be fair, I wasn't really listening anyway. Most of the other characters in this are very musical-y side characters with hopes and dreams of their own or vendettas of their own. And you know, they all uh, sing about it. This cast is stacked and everyone is superb. Keegan-Michael Key, he was one of my favorites as this cop that's corrupt and addicted to chocolate. I love the idea of paying off a cop with chocolates. That's great. So as the movie goes on, he gets fatter and fatter. That's hilarious. The other standout here was Hugh Grant as the Oompa Loompa with a mission of his own. The goddamn charisma of that man is almost flawless. He stole every scene he was in. I know there's been some controversy of let's have little people play little people, but Oompa Loompas are smaller than little people and you're not gonna find a little people that has more charisma than Hugh Grant. Good evening. So you're the funny little man who's been following me. Funny little man. How dare you. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. Um, straight up, this is a kid's movie. I know that sometimes, uh, with my interpretation of things, there is this weird gray area of what's for kids and what's for adults. But I assure you, this movie is for kids. It's got silly characters, a silly plot, silly songs, silly dances, you know, kids stuff. Does that make it bad? No, not at all. It's actually quite good for a kid's movie. And they will love this. You, however, are gonna have to suspend your disbelief a bit. At least. I thought it was pretty funny. I laughed a bunch of times. Visually, it looks great. The colors and the costumes are legit. And with this overall story with these characters, I thought it was creative as hell. Now, the cinematography and the way it's filmed is definitely musical-y. All the acting is great, all the characters are great. This story is very uplifting and cheerful within this bleak setting. Now what I could have used with this bleak setting was some OG Wonka underlying darkness. I would like to see Wonka low-key murder some folks. Am I a psychopath? Speaking of underlying darkness, I'm not a guy that likes singing and dancing in movies. Like uh, musicals. Have I said that before? I don't do musicals. Musicals don't vibe with me. In the last 20 years, the only musical I've been able to tolerate is Sweeney Todd. And that's because there's like blood and gore and murder and stuff. Am I a psychopath? This movie has at least like 10 songs. So I wasn't into that. And I know that some people love it. And if you do, that's great. But whenever a character starts to break out into song, it only takes a few seconds for my inner metal head to start fighting back. I just can't tolerate it. And then the metal head takes over. Ladies and gentlemen of the gallery gourmet. Traveling in the world of my creation. If you, want to... if you have kids, this is a perfect movie for them. They're gonna love it. And I think it's one of those movies that'll be really good for their nostalgia later on. If you love Timothy Chalamet, 
he does a great job and he's looking good while he's doing it. Looking very sharp. If you're a dude in his 30s seeing it by yourself, it could probably wait. It's just not for us. You know, it's for kids. Just not my thing. Okay, see ya. Subscribe! Oscar winner Olivia Coleman is in this. And while I'm watching her do this amazing job acting her ass off as this despisable character, I'm sitting there like, listen, Olivia, your character's an asshole. What I need here is Willy Wonka to murder your ass with some Life Lessons chocolates. Gene Wilder Wonka wouldn't have hesitated. She'd be fucking dead. But not Chalamet Wonka. He's too pure of heart, you know? He's too much of a good guy. <laughs> Ugh, fucking bitch.